for future purpose data has to be stored information also has to be stored permanently for future purpose whereas fstream.h is the supporting header file for both IF stream as well as OF stream classes. If I want to perform any operation where it may be read operation or it may be write operation, must and should first it has to open. Welcome back to one and all. Myself Vasanta, lecturer in computer science, Vidyashram, Pre University College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Today. We are going to start with the first session of data file handling. Whereas in the annual exam, from this chapter, you will get only two questions that is from part B, one question for two marks, and one more is in part C, one question for three marks. Totally five marks you will get in the annual exam from this chapter. Only two questions one is part B, and one more is in part C. Two marks, one question, three marks, one question. Whereas on today's session, you will come to know regarding the introduction to data file handling. What do you mean by data file handling? How exactly it will work? Then stream class hierarchy for input output operations with that classes for file stream operation, which are the classes under this you will get. Regarding that, you will come to know on today's session. Now one by one we'll discuss. Before starting this chapter, you know that this chapter deals with data file handling. Then what do you mean by data? For example, if I'm going to write 123, is it a data or information? This can be called as data. Because here 123, if I'm going to write, then I'm not going to get a specific meaning, whether it's a register number, phone number, bus number. Then it can be called as data. Data is a raw facts, figures, and statistics. For example, register number equals 123, if I'm going to write, then it can be called as information. It is a processor data. Processor data can be called as information here. And this information is having some specific meaning. Whereas file is a basic storage unit in a computer system. Now you come to know data as well as files. Then how exactly this will handle? Regarding that, you will study on this chapter. Whereas in C++, input and output occurs in the stream, which are sequence of bytes here. We have sequence of bytes here. File, these are used to store data or information permanently for future purpose. For future purpose, data has to be stored. Information also has to be stored permanently for future purpose. When you come on files, there are two types. One is a text file and one more is binary file. There are two types of files. File is a basic storage unit in a computer system that is required to store both input data as well as output. That is data as well as information to store that we need file. There are two types of files. One is a text file and one more is binary file. Whereas in text file, it stores the information, especially in ASCII characters format. ASCII means American Standard Code for Information Interchange. In ASCII format, if the data stores, then it can be called as text file. And here, every line is terminated with a special character known as EOL, that is end of line. In every line, it is terminated with EOL, whereas Text file is nothing but here data or information or stored especially in ASCII format. ASCII format if it is stores then we used to call it as it is a text file. But when they come on binary file here it is a file that contains the information in the same format as it is stored in the memory. That is here if the data is stored in binary format or how exactly in the computer memory it will stores. Usually in the memory it will stores in binary format. That is how in the same format as it is stored in the memory that is in binary format. If it is stores then it can be called as binary file. Whereas file is a basic storage unit. Two types text file and binary file. Here we are using to store the data in ASCII format whereas here in binary format here we are using end of line concept whereas here we are not using end of line concept and 
What do you mean by input operation? Because already I told you, here we can able to perform input operation, output operation, I was stream, I told you. Then what do you mean by input operation? Whereas an in input operation, the user can able to send the data to the computer with the help of input devices like keyboard, mouse or joystick, light pen, OMR, MICR, whatever may be the input devices. Through that input devices, the user can send the data to the computer for processing purpose. Whereas input operation, if bytes flow from a device like keyboard, disk drive or a network connection, to the main memory, then it's called it as input operation. Input means we are sending the data to the computer with the help of input device. Then what do you mean by output operation? Whereas output operation from the output devices, the user can get the result here. If bytes flow from main memory, main memory here, computer, main memory, to the device like display screen point printers, a disk drive or network connection, then it's called it as output operation with the help of output devices. If the user get the information, then it can be called as output operation. Computer programs work with files because file helps to storing information. It's a basic storage unit. Computer needs file because it is a basic storage unit. File input output facilities are implemented through the header file fstream.h whereas fstream.h is the supporting header file for both ifstream as well as ofstream classes. fstream.h defines certain classes that performs file input and output operation especially here whereas if i'm going to consider f stream it is derived from both if stream as well as of stream whereas if stream if for input operation of for output operations now is it clear that means f stream contains both if stream operation as well as OF stream operations. Now when you come on input stream, what do you mean by input stream as well as output stream? Whereas stream that supplies data to the program is called as here stream. It reads the data from the file and hand it over to the program. Input stream means we are giving input stream that is that supplies data to the program here and it mainly reads the data from the file and hand it over to the program here. It just read. We are typing, we are writing but what exactly the computer is doing? The computer is reading operation there it will perform. While we are getting the result that is we are reading on that time the computer will perform write operation. That means under input stream, it mainly perform reads operation. But when you come on output stream, the stream that receives data from the program, the stream that receives data from the program, it writes, whereas we are reading, but what computer is doing there, it will write the data, especially it writes the received data to the file here. In this year to study, what do you mean by input operation, output operation? What do you mean by input stream as well as output stream? Whereas when you come on the hierarchy format, how exactly this stream classes hierarchy is represented? There, I was stream, I was stream, I was stream. Whereas if I come to IF, F stream, it is derived from IF stream as well as OF stream. This is a base class IOS. Here, IO stream with the assignment operator, yes stream, especially here it will perform. Whereas OF stream with assignment here also for output operation, whereas here it is for input operation. That will explain now. F stream classes is derived from IOS base class. That means F stream. Here if I'm going to consider F stream, it is derived from IOS base class. The class IF stream is derived from IS stream as well as F stream also. If I'm going to consider IF stream, this is derived from I stream 
as well as F stream. IF stream and OF stream classes acts as base class for F stream class. If I'm going to consider IF stream is made up from or derived from I stream as well as F stream. In the same way, OF stream is derived from O stream as well as F stream. All those things acts like a base class here. File buffer class is derived from the stream buffer. File handling uses mainly three classes IF stream, OF stream as well as F stream. But if I'm going to consider F stream, it includes both IF stream as well as OF stream. F stream dot H must be included in file handling programs. Now is it clear? Next we'll explain which are the classes exactly we'll get on this. That is classes for stream operation. Under that first file buffer. There, file buffer is a set to read and write operation. If I want to perform a read or write operation, then we require this file buffer. Next one, F stream base. F stream base. It supports for open as well as close member function. If I want to perform any operation where it may be read operation or it may be write operation must and should first it has to open after doing all the calculation must and should we need closing of the file is required for that we need f stream base whereas file buffer is used for read and write operation on the file whereas to perform that operation file has to be opened with the help of f stream base next if stream if if I get that input operation, then it supports, it mainly helps to perform input operation that is for reading purpose. Computer, what exactly it will perform? Read operation here it will perform. Under that, we have gets function, get line functions, read function, seek G function, as well as tell G functions under IF stream. Whereas get function helps to input a single character. Only one character when you want to input on that time get functions we are using. Whereas get line function, this especially used when you want to input entire line of a text. Whereas to read entire line of text, we need this IF string class. Then read function helps to read the data, especially in binary format. Whereas seek G, it will move the get pointer. Especially it will move the get pointer from a particular position or from the beginning to a particular position. Whereas tell G, it will tell you where exactly the get pointer is present. That is for reading purpose, whichever pointer we are required, that pointer we used to call it as get pointer here. Whereas seek G move the get pointer from the beginning to a particular position to read the data. Whereas tell G function, it will tell you where exactly the get data pointer is present. Next, when you come on OF stream class, there OF, if it starts, then output operation. Output means writing. The system will perform write operation. Under that, it supports put function. Whereas get function helps to input a single character. Whereas put function helps to print or write a single character. Then write function, the next one is write function, helps to write the data, especially in binary format. Whereas read and write, here this we are used when you want to perform, especially in binary format. Whereas read function is to input the binary value, whereas write function helps to, to perform write operation in binary format. Whereas CP, this seek p function helps to move the put pointer whereas here seek g helps to move the get pointer whereas here seek p helps to move the put pointer put pointer means printing pointer especially here to write the data that pointer from the beginning to a particular position whereas tell p function tell you where exactly the put pointer is present now. It will display in the number format. In the numerical format, it will return the value where exactly on which place it is present. Then if I come to F stream class, already I told you it includes both 
IF as well as OF. That means it supports and inherits all the functions of IF stream as well as OF stream classes. It means that it will support both input operation as well as output operation. It supports get function, get line function, read function, seek G function, tell G function, put function, write function, seek P function as well as tell P function. All the functions it includes because it is inherited all the functions of IF stream as well as OF stream. Now is it clear for all of you? It means that in this especially classes for file stream operations which are the files especially we required. What are the major function of each functionality is like get function. I am to recall once again. Whereas file buffer is used for read and write purpose. Whereas F stream base supports for open as well as close function. IF stream input their get, get line, read, seek G, tell G. For printing purpose that is for off stream class their put, write, seek P, tell P. And the next one, F stream includes both IF stream as well as OF stream class. Whereas in the next class, you will come to know regarding how exactly the file can be opened. In two methods, it can be opened by using open function method and one more by using constructor method. Then how to perform file mode, that means for which purpose we are opening the file whether for input purpose or output purpose, for reading purpose or for writing purpose, whether it is in a binary format, for which for purpose we are opening the file, that is file mode regarding that you will study. Then in depth you will study regarding what do you mean by get function, get line function, put function, read function, write function, how exactly this read and write function will work, that especially it will work in binary file. Then what do you mean by seek g, tell g, then seek p as well as tell p how exactly it will work then with that you will come to know regarding how to close the file after doing all the process the file has to be closed how exactly the closing function can be performed then how to access the data especially in a file regarding that you will come to know in the next session thank you for all of you